I took the ferry from Funchal, Madeira to Porto Santo to film part of our film on Macaronesia. I was particularly interested in the fact that this island was the very first of those discovered in the age of exploration. In 1418, a massive storm threw Portuguese explorers off course, nearly killing them, but they landed here still alive. They aptly named the island Holy Harbor, Porto Santo, in light of this miracle. One of the sailors on that first expedition became the island's first governor. He would later be the father-in-law to Christopher Columbus, whose home can be visited here. But before visiting Columbus's home, we toured around the island. This island is so small and the mountains are so low that the clouds just, they go along. They never stop here. We don't have uh, rain. I don't know what, what to tell about the rain. <laughs> Maybe 10 days per year. Uh, sometimes we have two, four, seven. We already had 12 years with no rain, long periods without rain, because we are in front of Africa. Between Tanger, Casablanca, so about 360 mile away. And this was a geostrategic position. After they found this, they wanted to discover the new world. Later, it was very important to make connections from Portugal and Spain. Uh, they, they, there was no one here. Um, the Portuguese found the island at uh, 1st of November of the year 1418. That's when they found the island first. They came one year later with animals, people to occupy this and the wheat and barley to grow. And that's what, when they found the other island, Madeira. That's when they realized there was another island in front. They continue, but Madeira has uh, more water, so they developed much more than this one, which is good because it was kept natural and simple. It's tough in time when we can feel that peace and simplicity of the past. That simplicity of the past can be seen in this charming little house which shows how the earliest residents of the island lived. So we call the clay houses, in Portuguese, casas de salão. Uh, no, no stone walls, because it will be cooler and smaller, you know, in space. Keep the bedroom cozy and private and more warm. We then visited this oasis garden and bird sanctuary, built entirely by a local surfer with his own hands. He had a bar at the beach. Mm -hmm. He had the windsurf school. And then every day we saw him closing the bar at the end of the day, coming with a defender, water and, and palm trees to the, island, to the middle of the island. Every day he planted a tree, made a little path, water circuit. Little by little he made hand by his own hand, all of this garden that took about 27 years to reach the point we find now. But with lots of hard work, uh, persistence and sometimes he even had to lunch inside the car to bring cars out to tank cars bringing water to the garden nowadays he has an intern circuit they have uh, pumps that push the water from natural spring here and then inside it goes down by gravity and a pump push up again We can find this in few places in the world, and for us, it's like a, a natural monument, very important. Uh, um, the, la the lava that created this is different composition from the rest of the island, and it's called Mujeritic Rock. It exists also in Hawaiian archipelago, and we found recently a similar um, formation and the same composition on the, on the rock in another planet, uh, Mars. You can notice the movements of the lava and it created the, the mountain. It was twisted and bended and, and connected to a beautiful legend of a witch that lived in the mountain. 
a lady called Anne Ferreira, that's the name that we gave to the mountain, lived here in, in Porto Santo near this mountain and people thought she was a witch. She came because she was a bastard daughter of a Portuguese king. Uh, of course, people didn't know who she was. Local communities suspect why a, local, a person came to Porto Santo from the outside. And then there's some caves on the top that makes a funny whistle and people thought it was her making witchcraft. So the, through word of mouth, through generations, it's our boogeyman here. <laughs> Little boys and girls don't, don't eat the soup. We always tell them about the Anna Ferreira witch. But it's a magical spot. Um. Finally, I had the opportunity to visit the home of the explorer I most admire, Christopher Columbus. In 1479, Christopher Columbus married the daughter of Porto Santo's first governor and moved into this modest home where he honed his mariner skills before sailing to the New World. So this house belonged to the first governor of Porto Santo Island, Bartolomeu Prestrelo. When Christopher Columbus married his daughter, they came to live here, a place where they studied the currents of the sea, the winds, and things that came to the shore, things that they knew there was a new world out there. This is like a little library. Part of the old house? Yes, this part. And we know documents that he made. This is a copy of the diary board. The uh, copy of the of writing. The log book, right? Yeah, log book, you call. This is the key. This is the note These little notes he made himself. Mm -hmm. We have some, you know. Another thing that is interesting is the different images. There's different yeah. paintings of him, but one thing is common, his nose, big nose. So I think this is the one I'm most familiar with. Yeah. This is probably the most correct image that we can find of Christopher Columbus. Presented different uh, ships that the Portuguese developed through time. At first, it was short trips, so they used this we call Caravela. It was in one of these that they found Porto Santo Island. Then later, to discover America was two of these, and this is Santa Maria replic. So this was the main ship, came in front with two other Caravela. And then to go to longer distance to the the maritime way to India. We needed protection so we can find here some cannons. We have a bigger ship and more sails to go further to the, the south and then to go up to India. And that one was the one that he returned to Europe. This map reference of the different trips going and returning. Uh, he married first with Philippa Muniz, the daughter of the first governor here in Lisbon. Then they came to Porto Santo to live a few years. Then they returned to Lisbon and his wife died meanwhile. Then he married in Spain with another lady. So I, I guess he married up then. He married a girl who was politically connected. Oh. Smart for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two. Two. One here and one in Spain. Oh, okay. mm. and, uh, you need and money to go around for the expedition. world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say the, this island loves Christopher Columbus? Of say? course we do. Oh. It's important. Uh, it it puts us in the map. It's important uh, historical uh, event in the island. He being here, studying the currents, the wind, uh, being part of our history. So we welcome uh, and the history of Christopher Columbus. So if Columbus. it wasn't for Porto Santo, maybe he wouldn't have learned his navigational skills. Yes. So he wouldn't have discovered America. No, somebody else would <laughs> discover America. Yeah, that sure. Back then, different people were trying the same, different countries. Today, Christopher Columbus is being set aside. In fact, the day that we celebrate is Christopher Columbus is going to be probably canceled in the United States. And his statues are coming down. Why? because they, um, people don't like the fact him bringing, imposing, they say, Christianity on the Indians. Ah, see. Those people that are making those complaints on Twitter and so forth, 
they wouldn't be able to make those complaints on see, Twitter. See, the civilization if it wasn't came Christopher Columbus. there because of that. So they can see, thank him. See, it's two parts of the coin. They can thank him for being able to use Twitter to criticize. Them. For example, this house was here at the same time as the church. Estava na mesma altura que a igreja. Mas a igreja, a parte mais antiga. Sim, the, the first part, yes, but this main area was built later. The main church, original one, that they were Uh, Christopher Columbus' uh, statue is here represented, looking at the west because that was the place he knew that there was a new world to be discovered. It's like a, a, a Portuguese or old English saying. It's like so. This is from Lusíadas. It's a written from Camões, a Portuguese uh, sailor that wrote Camões. lots of things. Yeah, Camões. Lusíadas is the name. So here we open the seas, as no other generation did. We saw the new islands and the new air that the generous Henry had discovered.